since I'm having surgery and I won't be able to stand for a few days, I am going to meal prep some food. I'm taking this chicken breakfast sausage that's gluten free. I'm going to cut it up, roast it in the oven, and then make it for a little bit, and then finish cooking it in scrambled eggs. I have these chicken thighs that I am going to make with Saucy Susan, breaded chicken cutlets with Four C's, gluten-free breadcrumbs, some gluten-free pasta in vegetable stock, and I'm going to cut up my pineapples. I'm going to freeze some and I'm going to keep some in the refrigerator because it's good for healing. So let's start. So I'm preheating the oven to 350. I'm going to bread the chicken cutlets first. And as you can see, the gluten-free um, breadcrumbs are smaller. Let's take. I'm gonna put it on one of my smaller stonewares. I'm gonna put it on my small stoneware. Cause I can put the chicken cutlet, the chicken thighs and the chicken sausage together on a different one. And I'm gonna cut up some sweet potatoes. So I'm just breading my chicken thigh, chicken breasts. And I usually just take out as much breadcrumbs as I need so I don't waste any month, waste anything because all gluten-free food is more expensive than regular food. Take my chicken thighs out. And I always wash my hands between touching the chicken. Like this there. See, Susan will have to wait. I cannot get the jar open at the moment. So let's cut up. chicken All of the sausage will just go on the sheet, the stoneware, and it'll go in the oven. Up the sweet potatoes into small pieces. I can actually add some of them to the eggs. I'm going to cut up the sweet potatoes into small pieces. They will go onto the large stone pan. I can eat them with the chicken. I can eat them with the eggs. Then I'm just going to cut them into small cubes. I usually cut it in half. Then I can put them next to each other and make the slices and the dices. And to make everything cook evenly, you have to cut it the same size. So all of the sweet potatoes are cut up. I'm going to put them in 
the oven. The chicken sausage is about to come out so I can make it in the eggs. And to take the ham steak out and put it on the stoneware where I just took the chicken sausage out. And I can actually use this with eggs too. So the ham is done. I'm going to put it on the Tupperware lid to cut it up. And then I'm going to put it away. And I'll put the chicken back into the oven. And let it cook some more. Put them in a bigger Tupperware and smaller Tupperwares, and I'm gonna do the same thing. Use my scoop and serve. You always can tell when they're done because they're soft. Top, uh, sweet potatoes are harder than regular potatoes, and they're actually better for you. So the rest of the chicken is done. I'm gonna use my same scoop and serve that and put the chicken in it into the Tupperware. And once that cools off, then I can put it away. I always let my somewhere cool off a little bit before I clean it because it's easier to handle. 